Hey, it's Dr. Barry. In this short video, I want to talk to you about what's stalling your weight loss. Uh, so many people start off really good on the ketogenic diet. They lose a ton of weight and then they get stalled and they can't figure out what's causing it. And we're going to talk about the hidden things that can stall your weight loss today on the ketogenic diet. OK, first, please take one second and click the subscribe button, please. And consider clicking that little notification bell. That way you get a notification every time I get a bright idea. Now, let's talk about what's stalling your weight loss on a ketogenic diet. The most common thing of all is sneaky sugars and creepy carbs. Those are the things over the months of doing the ketogenic diet, as you do it for weeks and months, sneaky sugars and creepy carbs are going to come back into your diet without your knowledge and are going to stall your weight loss because anytime something elevates your blood sugar and then that's going to elevate your insulin and that stops the weight loss right because anytime your insulin's elevated you're not going to be burning the fat that's on your booty and on your belly or worse yet in your pancreas or even in your liver, you're going to be burning the carbs that you just ate. OK, so let's talk about ways that corporations hide carbohydrates and hide sugars in the foods they sell us, because you know what? Corporations are not in business to make you healthier. Corporations are not in business to help you succeed at your diet. Even the weight loss corporations and the diet food corporations, if you never lost a pound, guess what? They wouldn't care at all. All they want to do is sell you products and make their board of directors happy with a profit. That's what they're interested in, okay? So if they can make their foods taste better by adding a little bit of sugar, and you know sugar has about 80 different names on the, the packaging, and so they might call it something you've never heard of, and it's just a, a big fat word for sugar. OK, or simple starches or carbs. So here's some ways that they do it. And here's the places that you really need to watch out for sneaky sugars and creepy carbs. OK, the first is sauces or dressings. If you go to a restaurant and you order buffalo wings or barbecue ribs or you order a salad with dressing, I can almost bet you that there's going to be sugar in the sauce. There's going to be sugar in that dressing because sugar makes things taste better to human beings. That's why we love sugar so much, right? And so if they're sneaking a few grams of sugar into that sauce for the, for the ribs or for the wings or for any kind of sauce, sauce on the salmon, right? That's going to that's going to bump your insulin up and you just killed your weight loss for the re for the rest of that day. And so you have to watch any sauces. And if you buy the sauce or buy the dressing, you can look at the carb count on the back. Right. And you have to do that. If you buy anything with a label, you've got to look at the carbs because that's going to tell the story. Another place where they love to do this or where, where we can stall your weight loss is cooking oils or mayonnaise. OK. <clears throat> If you're using canola oil or you're using safflower oil or you're using soybean oil, those things have a messed up omega-6 to omega-3 ranking, okay? They can, they can cause inflammation in your body, and inflammation raises cortisol levels, and guess what that does? Stops your weight loss, right? Also, most big-name mayonnaise that are made by the big corporations use either canola or soybean oil, and both of those are going to cause inflammation in your gut, inflammation in your body, which is going to elevate your cortisol level, and stop your weight loss, right? So you, even if you don't use it, if it's in there, it counts. And so I'm so happy that I found out about how to make mayonnaise with bacon grease. And I, I posted uh, a link to that on my Facebook page. Dude, that stuff is so delicious. Oh my gosh, it's so good. You've got to make it. It's easy. It takes five minutes and there's no soybean. There's no canola, right? So you can eat as much of that as you want, and it's not going to knock you out of ketosis, okay? So watch out. If you go somewhere and, and something's fried, what did they fry it in? That matters. You can't just be like, oh, well, I don't know. It's probably fine. No. If they fried that in canola, then it's going to have canola oil, and that's going to cause inflammation and raise your cortisol level, okay? So you've got to think about what was this cooked in, even if you didn't cook it. The next thing is breading. If you, you know, I've had so many guys, mainly men, come to the my office and say, hey, I'm eating chicken now every day, but I'm not losing any weight. And I'm like, well, what kind of chicken are you eating? And they're like, chicken strips. That's okay, right? And I'm like, dude, is it breaded? Uh, yeah. Okay, what do you think the breading's made of? Uh, 
bread, right? So yeah. So if something's breaded, that is wheat, right? And if you're lucky, lucky, it may be almond, but I doubt that very seriously. If it's marketed and sold by a big corporation, then that's wheat or corn or soybean. It's nothing that you want to be putting in your body. It's carbs. It's simple starches, and it's going to jack up your blood sugar and jack up your insulin level. You can't eat stuff that's breaded, even if it's chicken. You can't eat breaded livers. You can't eat breaded anything because the breading is bread. And you that that's <laughs> sorry, I'm being snarky here, but I mean, come on, right? And this this conversation happens at least once a week in my office, and I'm just like, dude, stop that. What's wrong with you? So no, no to the breading. Now, sausages and processed meats. Anything that's processed like that, you've got to look at the carb count, okay? And so, because they're going to put sugar in there, because sugar makes sausage taste better. Until your taste buds get used to enjoying the flavors of food without sugar, your taste buds love sugar. And so, they're going to put sugar in the sausage. They're going to put sugar in the bologna, bologna, bologna in the South. They're going to put sugar in the hot dogs. They're going to put sugar in all that processed meat stuff, so you have to look at the carb count. And so if you're at a restaurant, you can rest assured there's going to be some sugar in that sausage or that kielbasa because it makes it taste better to the average person and they're trying to make money. So you got to watch out for sausage and other processed meat. Another thing you really got to watch out for is MSG, monosodium glutamate. Now, this is not a sugar or a starch or a carb, but it still spikes your insulin level. There's multiple research studies that show that if you eat an MSG heavy meal, it's going to spike your blood sugar. OK, so you got to watch out for monosodium glutamate. It's sometimes listed on the label as just what it is, but they also have other names for it as well. And so you may have to Google other names for MSG and then you'll see the list and you'll know what to look for. But MSG and processed foods will spike your insulin and stop your weight loss, even if there's no sugar, no carbs. Yeah, exactly. The next thing is sorbitol or maltitol. Now, the American Diabetic Association loves sorbitol, and they'll put their little check of approval on every baked good that's made with wheat and then sweetened with sorbitol. Like that crap is good for diabetics. Sorbitol and maltitol will absolutely raise your blood sugar and absolutely raise your insulin level and absolutely knock you out of ketosis. You cannot eat sorbitol or maltitol. I don't care what the ADA says, okay? The next is any kind of diet drink, diet bar, energy drinks, energy bars, all of those things, almost without exception, have some form of sugar. If you're drinking those things every day for energy, then first of all, you need to slowly but surely wean that down because obviously that you, you get energy from other sources, right? You're not burning fat efficiently if you need your monster drink or your, your whatever for energy because they almost always have sugar, okay? You got to read that label very carefully because they'll use one of the code words for sugar that doesn't just say sugar, right? Another one is protein bars and protein powders. Everybody, when we start working out, we've been trained for the last 20 years. If you're going to work out, you need extra protein. And why not get that in a tasty bar, a protein bar or a, or a tasty protein powder? Very, very often, protein bars are just candy bars, okay, because they're full of sugar. Very, very often, protein powders are just like chocolate milk powder. They basically are chocolate milk powder with a little protein thrown in. That's what they are. They're full of sugar, so you can't trust that. You've got to look very carefully at the label and then also realize that if you eat or drink too much protein, which you probably don't need anyway, you risk spiking your insulin level just from eating too much protein. So really, you don't need the extra protein unless you're an elite level athlete training at the very, very top of the food chain. You don't need extra protein just because you went to the gym, okay? The next thing is shredded cheese and pre-prepared cheese food products like the pre-padded out and pre-wrapped cheese. That's not real cheese, okay? Anytime a corporation gets its hand on cheese, they have to either put flour or sugar, wheat or sugar in there, and they'll put maltodextrin. They'll put all kinds of things to keep the shredded cheese from sticking together. So buy the cheese in the deli, buy real cheese, shred it when you get home. It tastes so much better. And then you don't risk them putting in sugars or wheat, right? Now, 
If you really enjoyed this video and you think that your friends would enjoy it, please take one second and share it on your social media. There are so many people doing the ketogenic diet with great success, but a few people have stalled out and you sharing this video may be the very thing that unstalls them and pushes them on to their success. Also, if you love my videos and you want me to have more time to make more, click the Patreon link down below. I actually uh, gave a shout out to some patrons in this at the, down in the notes of this video who really helped me make more videos because I have more time, right? So help me out on Patreon if you want to. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.